Now, in advance, I apologize, but I'm not going to suffer longer than I need to doing this recap, okay? And I Hello, everybody, and welcome to my channel. You've reached the reunion review, finally. It's called The Aftermath. And please, MTV, let this be the last mother freaking Teen Mom family reunion season y'all have. But anyway, let's get into the review. So, Nessa Girl, she is hosting just like she hosts the regular Teen Mom Next Chapter and all of the Teen Mom OG and Teen Mom, what was the other thing? Two, Teen Mom Two. She's hosting. So she introduces the moms and the daughters. And now Coach B is here and Nessa's asking her, how do you feel being here? How does she, how does she, how is she supposed to feel? How is she supposed to feel? Stupid freaking question. They're asking some very boring questions. We're skipping these stupid questions. And let's move to the meat of this reunion review. Now, in advance, I apologize, but I'm not going to suffer longer than I need to doing this recap, okay? And I, I'm trying to have a good attitude about it. I really am. I really am. But I'm, as you can hear my voice, I'm over it. And I'm really sorry to come to you like this. Next time, if I am really over it, I'm just not going to do the review. But I was asked to do the review, so I'm going to do it. So Kayla is asked by Nessa girl how did she feel coming into the retreat and Kayla I do not like your new lips they look weird I'm sorry I am accustomed to how your face normally looks and I was trying to pinpoint what is going on and you did something to your lips and I hate it I'm really sorry to tell you and her mom is not her mom Jamie isn't there because her mom had vacation apparently so I'm not gonna lie sometimes I go I literally when I do these reviews I be over here clicking off the captions for y'all so y'all can have a nice little screenshot but I'm being lazy and honestly I'm gonna stop doing that because it's just making more work for me okay whatever makes it easier for me so anyway Nessa asks after they seen this flashback of the fight how does everybody feel about the fight and Kai is like it was just heartbreaking to me to see how defeated Brie looked I want to say F Brie Anna or Brianna, or however the hell you pronounce your name, because you've been pronouncing it, you and everybody else have been pronouncing it weird as long as I've been reviewing this damn show. Um, I'm a little irritated by the fact that nobody holds Brianna and Roxanne accountable for any part, for any part that they played in that situation, and it's sickening, and I ain't spending a lot of time on it. I'm just not. Because it's sickening to me. How they're trying to play Ashley out to be the bully. Her, her and her mom were the bullies. And Brianna and Roxanne, they were just, you know, they were little just mil miss, missing this Polly Pocket. They wasn't doing nothing. Brianna wasn't standing on top of no god darn counter. Nothing was happening with them. They were just chilling. And the aggressors were the black women. Don't piss me off. That's such bull crap. And I ain't spending a lot of time on it. Because all of these people here, they literally sit here and they are giving Roxanne nor Brianna, neither one of them have accountability. And I just don't have time to waste on it. Somebody the crying, whatever. Being, being so fake. Look at Brianna blowing, blowing to the air. Girl, shut the hell up. You're so freaking fake. So annoying. She, she blowing to keep from crying. You, ooh, ooh, I'm so... I'm so trying to control myself because it's literally four o'clock in the morning, but I can't stand phony people. I swear she about to cry. What are you about to cry for? You wasn't about to cry when you was on stage with Kaylin and you and your sister was about to fight her. I didn't forget that. I, I believe I reviewed that. Pretty sure I reviewed that. Now you're acting like little miss soft little pussycat can't do nothing. You're little soft little crying now. Kai is like, Everybody on the internet's attacking her. She's so innocent. Girl, please shut the hell up. You're getting on my nerves. You're really getting on my nerves. And Kaya, on your own show, I like you. But on this one here, girl, you could have stayed home. Seriously. Now we're going to hand freaking Kaya some tissue. And now Roxanne's stank ass is crying too. What the hell are you crying for? Oh, and Jay being phony, being fake supportive. Y'all are, are really sickening me. Seriously. So Amber says that she's disappointed in Ashley because she knows she can change. What about Brianna? Brianna doesn't need to change. Roxanne doesn't need to change. Amber, mind your freaking business, okay? You have enough problems. Jade is asked, what is her biggest takeaway from this thing? 
And Jade says that originally she didn't want to bring her mom because her mom has a big personality. So then Nessa says to Jade, you've shared a lot of your personal stuff, you know, especially the stuff with your dad. And my question is, if you guys didn't show these scenes on the show, why am I recapping something I never even had the opportunity to watch before now? Because I really don't care. I'm just telling you. So we flash back to when Christy was apologizing to Jade in the mirror. So after watching the flashback, Nessa asks Jade, how does that make her feel? And she says that her mom has never apologized. And she says a lot of the stuff that's happened in her past has molded her to the person that she is, obviously, like all of us. Jade says that Christy packs things away and acts like they never happened. So how is she supposed to heal? I swear this is the most crybaby ass episode I have ever had to review and I'm really sorry. I don't know if any of you know how I feel about tears on these shows. If you're gonna cry, make it count. Macy, what's your problem? This, this story doesn't even involve you. So what are you wiping tears for? I don't understand. So Nessa asks Macy how she's feeling. She, she's over there bubbling and crying and all. And Macy says that she feels that when she sees Christy, that Christy acts as if she doesn't deserve to be happy. And Jade says that we've missed out on so many times. And Nessa is like, it's, you know, you still have time. And Jade is like, you know, we're gonna make some memories and y'all need to. And bitch, everybody got excuses today for why their mama can't be there. Okay. So I forgot what this excuse was why April can't be there. Some kind of family something. But girl, you knew that you was going to be on this show. And you knew you was going to look bad for how you was in the mud, girl. And so you was like, you know what? I'd rather stay home and drink. That's exactly what happened. Kate was scared to bungee jump, but she did it. Next. And now we're flashing back to the most uncomfortable scene that I probably... Well, next to that scene with Ryan and Mackenzie getting married the day that he was driving high... Aside from that one, this was one of the most uncomfortable scenes to have to watch. And I'm glad I don't have to watch it again because I surely bypassed it when they did the flashback. And then Nessa asks Kate how she feels watching it. And she says at that moment she felt empowered, but watching it, she feels anxiety. Her heart is racing. And then Nessa asks Kate if her mom had been drinking at that point. And Kate says yes. And she says that her mom says that when she drinks, she gets like this additional confidence within her. So I guess I'm not understanding why whenever the ladies talk about their situation with their moms and talk about the exercises, I'm not understanding why Vanessa, I know she's got a script that she has to follow or whatever, but why do we need to know what the other moms think about it? They were there. Whatever they thought at that moment, they should have spoke. I mean, why y'all got to speak it now? But anyway, I guess we wouldn't have a show, which would actually be good for me, actually. Okay. But anyway, Nessa asks Macy, how does she feel in the moment of them in the mud pit? And Macy says that she was hoping that Kate would go there with her mom because she has a tendency not to go there because she wants to spare her feelings. So now Tyler comes out and talks about nothing. Tyler is Kate's mental health security blanket. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing. People cope the way they have to cope and I'm not mad at it. Okay, they've been together a super long time. I can only pray that one day I have a marriage like Kate and Tyler's. I really do love their relationship. So I have no problem with, you know, when she's feeling anxiety, the first person she calls is her husband. And this is how you know that this reunion is BS because we're sitting here talking about the fact that Tyler was cleaning. MTV, y'all have enough money. You are sending these teen moms who've been on your show for who knows how, I mean, everybody knows how long. And y'all couldn't afford to hire people to clean the place the way they, come on. I don't even want to finish, finish what I'm saying, seriously, because it's just irksome to me. They have nothing else to talk about other than this. You gotta be kidding me. So now we're gonna talk about the blow up between Brianna and Roxanne, Ashley, and T and I'm gonna get through this as quickly as I know how. I'm not, I'm not even I'm not doing this. That's the look at I'm look at dramatic Roxanne. Now she's leaving. Mom, stay here. I'm, now I'm she's I'm leaving. I'm not doing it. She's not doing it now. Oh my god, let me pause this. She's annoying. You got Kaya over here making ugly faces. You got Roxanne says now seeing the footage, you heard she wants to get up and walk away, but yet 
y'all are okay with y'all behavior. No, y'all not gonna, no, no. You're not gonna get the reaction you thought you was gonna get out of me on this video. Because as I said, when this first happened, I'm not saying that spitting is right, but I'm saying Roxanne started it. Ashley and her mom finished. I mean, what y'all want them to do? And then Tiffany is over here saying, did that look like a bump to y'all? Tiffany, when you get home, because I know you did this before they showed the flashback or whatever, before they showed Roxanne actually pushing her in all angles, because they MTV literally slowed it down and showed us in all angles that Roxanne deliberately knocked T. And if it wasn't deliberate, where was the I'm sorry? Girl, please don't play with me. Do not, do not, pretty dress, but do not play with me today, okay? Do not play with me. And then Cheyenne is like, and I don't like Cheyenne, okay? I'm, I'm telling y'all, y'all, I really wish I wouldn't have watched this season because it's made me not like people that I used to like in the other franchise. Cheyenne is over here talking about bumped or not, you don't spit on people. Okay, so you, um, Cheyenne, I recall, even though I didn't watch that season of the reunion, I recall you getting buck on Farrah. I, 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 I used to didn't like you and now I like you but I'm starting not to like you again because I don't give a damn what these women think about what happened they were there we saw how they felt we heard their mouths I don't need to be sitting here recapping the same thing we already know they felt disgusted by it blah 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 yakety smackety that's it Kaya says that Ashley Ashley and her mom they lack maturity she says she's a smart girl but she f's herself up Brianna F's herself up. Brianna's really a mess. And I'm gonna need you guys to hold her accountable. I don't know what the hell's wrong with you people. Y'all a bunch of kiss asses and it's annoying. And then Kate says it's just like the Farrah situation where she gets to come out here and sit by herself without having to face people and be accountable. Excuse you, your little besties, your besties Brianna and Roxanne are not accountable. What the hell are you talking about? I'm getting real mad right now. I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. So Brianna comes out there and says that they're gonna leave, coming out here in her flip-flops. She says her and her mom is gonna leave. She thinks her mom deserves to be able to speak. And then she says, we're not on the couch. And Nessa's like, y'all have your own act. <laughs> and it's just like, this is too much. I, I just, I can't with this fabricated drama. I really can't. So Brianna leaves, thank you, good riddance, child. And your mama good riddance to her too with them with that green outfit and them pink shoes. Cheyenne is here saying that everybody should be on stage. I shouldn't be speaking for Brianna or Roxanne or Ashley or T. We should all be on this stage talking about the situation. So Vanessa says to Cheyenne, girl, I wasn't expecting you. And she didn't say it like this, I am. I wasn't expecting you to speak for them. I was just asking because you were there. So then you hear Roxanne, Roxanne, you really, really, really pissing me off. You hear Roxanne calling Ashley a bitch in the back, in the backstage saying that they got sent home because that bitch spat on her daughter. That's the, that's the only reason why y'all got sent home? Y'all didn't do nothing? You know what? I'm ready to turn this off and end this review right here. I promise you. And now we're just perpetuating more drama where Tiffany is bringing up the fact that Ashley went home and talked about that girl's kids is what she said. First of all, Ashley wasn't the one that said it. I saw the clip. It was her sister. So if you're going to say that she talked about her kids, get it right. It was Chris that spoke about Brianna's kids. Okay, so anyway, they all run in their mouth about the situation. I'm over it. I'm not talking no more about it. Let's move to the next scene. Coach B is asking if they see any possible healing. Everybody says no. Okay, Trace is over it. I thought these bitches was leaving, but here they are back again. Why? Why didn't y'all leave like y'all said y'all was going to leave? So Nessa says to Brianna and Roxanne, you guys left the show. What made you come back? Brianna says, Larry and Morgan. So Nessa asks Brianna how she felt watching the footage. And Brianna says that she couldn't believe how aggressive Ashley was and how herself, Brianna, was oh so calm. Are you freaking kidding me, Brianna? Thank you. be so calm. I wish I matched her energy. She is such a nasty person and that's just the only thing that comes out of me when I see her. So when you set up on top of the counter. Exactly. Right? Exactly. You don't feel like you kind of matched her energy a little bit there? Thank you. Like that was still Nessa is looking at Brianna like she's full of shit, which she is. And, <laughs> and I'm just waiting for Brianna to show some type of accountability. Brianna goes on to tell Coach B, looking at that clip, there was no reason why I should have been sent home. Did you forget that you threw something at her? Girl, shut the hell up. So then Brianna was like, if I was gonna get sent home, I should have effed her up. First of all, Brianna, 
Ashley would have definitely beat your ass, okay? And I would have loved to see it. I would have loved to see it because you need an ass whooping. Vanessa asks, what caused all this friction? And Brianna says, it's Ashley, 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 Ashley. So Roxanne was like, once she realized that the moms were jumping into the online feud, she was like, um, I'm gonna have to say something. Actually, no, you could have take you took you could have took the high road, you know, being in your 50s or 60s or however old you are, could have took the high road and stayed out of it and let them resolve it, even with everybody else jumping in. You're just making it worse. Not making it better, you're making it worse. And then Roxanne says what really annoyed her basically was that T and Ashley, I don't know if she's talking about one or two or both, I don't know. But she's saying how, she's saying how they were just at family reunion trying to like wiggle their way in. Well, how how were they supposed to act when they came there? Were they supposed to come in raging mad or were they supposed to be like, you know what, let's just be chill? I'm not really sure exactly what Roxanne wants. And then she's like, they were being fake. Well, Roxanne, you and your daughter are fake. Both of y'all are fake. Y'all both sitting on this couch right now acting like y'all did nothing wrong and it's disgusting. And then Roxanne says, why didn't she, she's talking about tea. Why didn't she just address it in the beginning? Like. I apologize for what happened with my daughter, blah, blah, blah. Roxanne, she was trying to get a thought out. She let you speak and you talked over her and went ballistic and you refused to hear her out. So what the hell are you talking about? They should have apologized when you didn't even want to listen when they were being calm. So Roxanne said that they came in there, T and Ashley, like they didn't do anything. You mean the way you guys are sitting on this couch and acting like y'all didn't do anything. So Nessa looks at Coach B and says, you asked the girls if there was any possibility for healing with this situation with Ashley and her mom. Kiana says, I don't want a part. I don't want to be a part of anything involving her. Y'all invite her. Do not invite me. So then Roxanne brings up the fact that when Ashley got on social media, Ashley said that they knew she was pregnant. Y'all did know that she was pregnant. All of y'all knew because y'all was spreading rumors in the house that she was pregnant. Brianna even uttered it out of her mouth. So why y'all acting like, why you acting like you didn't know or you didn't hear that she may have been? So then Brianna's like, none of this would have happened if, if we would have known she was pregnant. I would have just ignored her. First of all, you knew during the time and y'all still was acting stupid. So then Coach B switches gears, thank God and goes into how Brianna felt about the experience and she's getting emotional and I couldn't care less. Okay, I'm on to the next scene. So Coach B's explaining to Brianna that she has to learn how to deal in situations that get a little volatile because, you know, losing our cool can literally cost us our lives. Lord help me. I hope this is the last scene. I think it is because it's like the last five minutes of the show. Why is Ryan on the stage? Was Ryan at Team Mom Family Reunion? No, he wasn't. So anyway, we're here with Ryan and Macy. Ryan is having regrets. I feel bad because we know that even today, Ryan's still getting arrested. Ryan is still doing drugs. Ryan's still in a bad place after all these years and it's been a very long time. And truthfully, I do feel sympathy for Ryan. I feel sympathy for Bentley and I feel sympathy for Macy. And that's really all I have to say about this review, guys. I don't have anything more to say. I'm done. I'm tired and I'm done. Anyway, guys, I'm done. I cannot guarantee you that part two is going to be posted tonight because it's six o'clock and I have to get ready for work in a couple of hours. So you're probably going to get part two either tomorrow or over the weekend. Over the weekend, you're going to be getting my movie recap and review of Gremlins, one of my favorite movies, probably one of the first movies I ever saw. And yeah, so that's going to be posted on Saturday. I'm going to try to have it up before 4 p.m. You're going to get a, what are we supposed to be doing this week? Damn, it's so much. But I don't like to announce stuff beforehand because sometimes I fall through, damn it. And I don't want to be saying stuff and it doesn't happen. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.